In this video, you will learn how to implement the Facebook Pixel and Facebook Conversion API for Shopify via Google Tag Manager, Web, cont web Container, and Elevar's server-side tracking. There are four steps required to go live with this new tracking, which I'll go through in more detail on each. Number one, install the Elevar data layer on your Shopify store. Number two, download and import the pre-built container for your Google Tag Manager web container for the Pixel events. Number three, configuring the server-side destination tracking in Elevar. And number four, test go live and remove previous tracking to prevent duplication. So let's jump into step number one, which is installing the data layer. Inside your Elevar account, you'll have the data layer step, which will ultimately allow you to configure Facebook and any other tag inside of GTM. But this populates the different events across your store. So things like viewing a product, adding to cart, initiating checkout, etc., And that is ultimately what powers the tags that live inside the GTM web container and the variables. So think product SKU, product name, value, etc. If you need to configure consent mode for GDPR, you can actually go through the step inside your data layer for CookieBot or OneTrust. And you can follow these docs in more detail to learn how to configure your tracking in GTM to remain compliant and ultimately integrated with these two integration providers or others that we support in the future. Once you have the data layer installed on your store, the next step will be ultimately deciding what type of tracking do you want to implement? Do you want to implement client-side tracking only? or do you want to implement client-side and server-side tracking, or do you want to implement server-side tracking only? As of now, Facebook still recommends implementing their pixel and conversion API together. So this is the client-side and server-side tracking. So we'll go through both of these setups together. Inside the Elevar pre-built tag library, you'll see that we have a pre-built container that has all of these tags, triggers, and variables that Facebook needs ultimately to go live. So if you are watching this video and your UI looks a little bit different, we are in the process of merging together the client side and server side tracking for destinations that want and recommend that they do them together. So you'll see this inside your Facebook destination. So just wanna call that out if the UI looks a little bit different than what you are looking at in this video. In any case, going back to this Facebook pixel download, You'll need to grab your pixel ID from your events manager, drop that into here, download the container. And then once you import that into your GTM web container and you merge with the rest of your contents, you'll see these pixels and events are all pre-configured for you. Each of these also has the event ID for deduplication already added, so you don't need to change anything. And the primary product ID that is used in all of the events is the Shopify product ID. If you need to change this, we provide instructions in our setup guide on how to change this to use variant ID or another version if you do not use product ID. Once you have your GTM web container ready to go, then the next step will be configuring your server side settings. And to walk through this, it looks very similar to what you'd see inside of GTM, but these are the server events. You'll see everything that we have configured here, including a subscribe event as well if you sell subscriptions. Then you can ch choose your product group, product identifier, which this should match and needs to match what you have in the pixel. You can also choose to block some transactions. So with the Elevar server side tracking, we have the ability to send all purchases from any channel. So this would be draft orders, point of sale, or purchases that come from any third party app, or you can just choose to select and block these and Elevar will not send these to the conversion API. If you sell subscriptions, you can also choose to send or block the recurring transactions. So this would be the second, third X number of orders after a user is already a subscriber, or you can choose to send them all as you wish. And you can modify this at any point in time. Last but not least is the pixel ID and the conversion API token. So inside your events manager in the pixel, just go to settings and you can go down here to the conversions API and generate a new token. And you can use this token ultimately to drop into your setting here and save and go live. Once you go live with 
your server side settings. So inside of Elevar, you'll see a live designation here and you can publish your tracking in GTM or just use preview mode if you prefer. Then go through the process of placing an order and you can see the different data layer events that'll come through in your preview mode inside of GTM here. And you can also see, so let's take a look here. You can also see this data come through the real-time activity and this just came through. So we missed the fancy visual here, but the visual you'll see the order that is placed and the destinations that's being sent to. And this is a log essentially of the order, order name that was sent and each destination that it was also successfully sent to. If there was an error in the API receiving the event, you, instead of this being sent, you would see a failed notice here. So this is a really quick and easy way to go through the process of implementing your CAPI tracking, testing in real time, going to your real time activity in, in the LLVAR dashboard and validating that the purchase was sent and you can backtrack and looking at different UTM parameters, et cetera, if you want to start at the ad level and clicking through and completing a purchase. Again, once you're live, be sure to disable any of your old tracking so you do not duplicate your tracking once you go live with Elevar. And as always, if you have any questions or need help, you can let us know. And I look forward to seeing you go live with your, your new Facebook Pixel and Conversion API tracking with Elevar and Google Tag Manager.